Hello everybody, this is Mythos and welcome back to another Redstone video. Today's video is going to be of a very popular mini game, except done in vanilla, with command blocks of course, what else are you going to make it with? But, this took me a long time to do, this is why there's been no videos for the last maybe day or two, because there is a lot of work that went into this, it is just me that was working on this, so you can, you can probably appreciate it a little more knowing it was one person that made all of this. Um, I am in my regular redstone world, of course, this is my realm, and let me just kind of briefly explain what's going on here. I have everything color-coded with signs on it, so, so I remember what the color is. This uh, light grey here is the timer the, for gold mode and end game. And what the gold mode is, is something I will show you in a little while. Um, if, you, if you know already what the game mode is, <laughs> go ahead and spoil it down below in the comments, I don't mind. But this is the red team core test, the blue team core test, uh, the ready up, and then we have some other stuff over here, and in behind here we have the reset. Down here is not color coded because it's all the one and same thing, it all does the same job, but let me just quickly demonstrate what goes on in this game. So, you come down here, we have our blue team, it's more purple, we have our red team. Um, I'm going to jump in on the blue team. So you come in here, teleports you down, you get all your stuff, and you're teleported to here. So then you can drop down, you have a little bit of time to probably organize your inventory or whatever you want to do. Um, I don't know, just kind of get whatever you want to get situated and all that sort of sort of stuff. And then you press this button here, and it will say blue team is readied up. There is a command block missing for the red team, I know that, or a tell raw command I think it is. Uh, but that's pretty easily put in. It, as soon as they press that button as well, it will open up the, the gates. These This isn't here in the regular game, you just kind of wait a little while and then you're dumped straight into the game. Um, and then you kind of fight it out, it's a PvP game. There's usually a bigger map than this, but I just set it here for the time being. And you destroy the enemy team's core. I know I just destroyed my own one, but uh, it says red team has one. So you'll see that if we go, we it doesn't matter, we don't need to reset it, it resets itself. But if we destroy this core here, it will come up, blue team's core has been damaged. And you'll see on the right side there, the blue core has been dropped to one. Um, and then this one again, the blue team drops to zero and it can tell that the game is over. So what that timer is there for is if we were to start the game, just ready up on both sides uh, really quickly here. Uh, bang. And we fly over here and we go bang again. The timer will start and it will keep it will count up it will keep counting up to 300 which is five minutes and as soon as five minutes is over the game updates itself to make it that much easier for people so after the five minutes or 300 seconds or whatever i'm using to time it i think it's seconds because there's we're using this clock here um excuse the lag <laughs> there's so many clocks running it just kind of happens every now and then but it was running pretty smoothly it makes it that little much little bit easier for people to uh to win so you fight your way through and you break the blocks so you go boom then red team's core has been damaged bang blue team is won and it teleports you back here clears your inventory and automatically resets the game you'll see that's back that's back the clock has stopped the clock's back at one and just everything has been set to the way it should be which is great so how about we jump into the redstone we'll start I, i'm sure right here where um, it actually tests for the obsidian. Well, it doesn't test for the obsidian. You'll see right now what it tests for. It tests for air. It tests this one, tests for the top block there on the blue team, this one, the bottom one, and if it finds air, it outputs a signal to here, and it sets a redstone block right here. So this clears the redstone block. This command says the blue team has been whatever. Um, blue team's core has been damaged, and that is supposed to be written in blue. We'll change that tell raw command. Right. So this one then takes one point away from the blue team's core, which is cool. That's the way it should work. And it's mirrored right here on the red team, except for this one here, that one right there. That's the way it does. So as soon as it finds that one of those reaches zero, it comes and it comes to this one. This is a basic clock. Um, I know it doesn't look like one, but there's redstone block being placed here that's being destroyed and this one is then again setting air so it doesn't look like there's anything here but once it tests that a blue core is at zero it will output a signal to here which says that the red team has won or the blue team has won 
which then carries through into this repeater and activates all of these command blocks. This one being um, to stop the clock by placing that redstone block there. And then there is to set another redstone block, which goes over there, which uh, is the automatic reset. There is one here, which clears everybody's inventory, sets the block. Um, I'm not too sure where this sets the block. <laughs> to be perfectly honest, I haven't labeled it, but... Oh, this is um, under those. Uh, there is a memory latch, and that's what clears that memory latch. Uh, that teleports everybody to over there, and there's one here that clears the memory latch of over there. So that's pretty cool. And then uh, these command blocks just uh, they set the walls back in over there. So that's pretty cool. Now all of this one, what is this? Well, this is this tests for uh, the score of 600. And this one tests for a score, or the timer score of 300. So what, does, what do these do? These actually need to be updated because from what I understand, this one won't actually work um, the way it's intended. I need to change, add another command block in here and replace the command from this one into here, then put redstone going all the way around and then put a command block here that clears one block above it and have this one set um, one block above the middle bit there um, as redstone, as a redstone block. So it will work perfectly. But this one is what changes um, the, the obsidian over there to gold. You'll see set Minecraft gold, um, gold block, gold block, and gold block. And then there's a tell raw command in here that lets everybody know that the, the gold mode has been activated. Then we go on to here. This just basically teleports everybody to there. Uh, sets the redstone block there and also sets or tells everybody the game is, has ended. Um, we do need to put in the reset, uh, the one that sets the redstone block over there for the reset. So that shouldn't be too hard, which will actually work in our favor because we do need an extra command block to make uh, all of the redstone be able to go around the perfect circle, which is a great. Now, this is the ready up for the, the whole thing. This tests for a uh, ready score of three, which is in another... It's hidden scoreboard. Uh, it's already set to one by default, but you need it to be set to three. And how you do that is when you press this button over here, if we want to drop down and break this, there's three command blocks and there's a button on the floor. We use the button so people don't accidentally press it with a pressure plate. But what this does is it also sets a redstone block here and that is our memory latch. So it keeps all these activated. That's what sets the redstone block. Um, there is the tell raw that says blue team is ready and there this command block right here is the one that will set the uh, the score of two or three depending on who readies up first to um, to uh, the next level up which is pretty cool I came up with that system myself I like it someone's probably used it before but I don't care and that is mirrored on that side as well so people um, so it just readies you up when you're when you're ready. Cool. Okay. So that is just about everything up here explained. Now let's jump down below into here. Now, what are these doing? This is another clock. Anywhere you see two reds or three blocks like this, it is a clock. And this one here is a test for. It's testing for a player up in this purple area here. And um, when it finds one, it will output a signal to this um, command block here, which puts a red two redstone blocks in the middle here, the bottom one clears those. Then we have commands that fill these redstone blocks, these redstone blocks, and redstone blocks over here that don't seem to disappear for no reason. But we also have a TP, which will TP the player into the middle there. Um, a clone, which clones these. This is probably one of the smartest systems I've ever seen. It gives you infinite dispensers without MC edit. So every time that a redstone block activates that, it will clone one of those and place it here, depending on what team you are. Um, these are empty, yes they're empty, because of the demonstration I had all the stuff in my inventory, but it will clone them and place them there, and these ones here are full. The blue team one has one, um, it, this one is the red team, red team has a red cap in it, and then the blue team one obviously has a blue one in it. So that's how you differentiate your team, but then these command blocks are for giving multiples of items, so golden apples, cooked fish and golden nuggets. Um, it also has weapons and everything like that. So when you get teleported into here, what happens? Well, obviously it spawns those um, 
those redstone blocks to activate all the dispensers and droppers. But it also has a way to pressure plate at the bottom, which activates a TP command, as you just saw. I didn't mean to press it. <laughs> but uh, let's see. So it comes down here, and there is a redstone lamp under there. The redstone lamp doesn't have any commands in it, of course. It's not a hidden command block, but that would be cool. But we do have an 8 tick delay before it hits this repeater, which teleports the player over to there, and also gives the player 64 logs. I could have put that here, uh, but I didn't have space, so I decided to put it underground, and then it's the exact same system over here, but it tests for a player above here, which is pretty nice. So... This is by far one of the biggest projects I've ever done. And once again, I did do it by myself. So um, it would be great if you guys took a moment and appreciated this. If you want to play the original OCTC, it is... I will leave a link down below in the description. The game type is Destroy the Core, um, or DTC for short. Uh, it's a pretty famous PvP game, and it's, it's a lot of fun. I think my rendition of it is pretty good. The only difference is when you join the game, you're put straight into it. Uh, you wait a few minutes while, and you can pick your team while you're waiting. Um, but other than that, this rendition is pretty close to spot on, I'd say. I spent a good while playing the game and figuring out how it works uh, while, I was, while I was making this. So I'm pretty happy with, with how it turned out. And I hope you guys are too. So I'll see you again in the future. And I hope you enjoyed. Take care. Bye-bye.